Let's take a look at 50 years of fashion starting in 1885. This is the second bustle era and the silhouette from this era focuses all of the skirt volume in the back. The skirt is supported by a small half cage called a lobster tail because you guessed it, it looks like a lobster tail. By 1895, there's a massive shift in silhouette. The bustle is all but gone and sweeping flared skirts and giant poofy sleeves are the order of the day. While the skirt is no longer supported by any hoops, the sleeves actually are. Each sleeve has its own tiny hoop skirt pinned to the inside to keep them fluffy. 1905 has a much softer and more romantic feel to it. Rather than super exaggerated volume in odd places like the previous two decades, this period in fashion focuses on highlighting the feminine silhouette, with large hips, a small waist, and a full bust being the fashion. I don't have a good ensemble for exactly 1915, so this one is actually from about 1913. By this time, the silhouette had narrowed out quite a bit with much less emphasis on curviness. Proof that the trend cycle is eternal since these dresses definitely call back to the Regency era. And of course, the iconic 20s dress where curviness is firmly out of fashion and the drop waist is all the rage. This is the only thing I own from the 1920s and it's also one of the few things in my wardrobe I didn't make myself since this is an actual antique. What do you think? Which year had the best fashion?